Hi, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Frontiers Health, and joining me now I have Carmen Kabsa. He is the co-founder of My Clinicare, which is a company that is bringing breast cancer screening to some of the most underserved populations in the world. So, Carmen, good to have you here. Thank Thanks you. for joining it's us. It's a pleasure, and it's nice to talk to you. First uh, interview sitting down here at the conference. Oh, very good. Okay, so um, why don't you, for everybody who's watching, talk a little bit about what you're doing and, and where you're bringing this to. So we had started our conversation, you are talking about breast cancer, particularly doing breast cancer screening in India. Right. So talk to me a little bit about the need there. The need, it's the, it's the, in, in India, leads the world in breast cancer deaths. And India has an uh, unfortunate designation where they, more women die of cancer in India than men. And more women die of breast cancer than any other cancer. This is not the case in any other, other markets. And three years ago when we started as a digital diagnostics company out of Bangalore, we decided to focus the problem uh, or focus our business on the biggest problem. And that was obviously breast cancer. So we focus on last mile deployment. Our model is we go to you. So we partner with big companies and big organizations to bring the certified digital screening on site. We work with the biggest companies, Microsoft, Bayer, Hewlett Packard, Wipro, Hindustan Petroleum, but we also work with the biggest NGO organizations across the country today. So talk to me about what, what you mean by digital screening. So like, what does that encompass exactly? Yes, uh, well first let me even back up a little bit from the digital screening because the process in India, there's, there's a, it starts with the education and awareness. So there's a big stigma and a fear associated with cancer in general, but specifically women's cancers. So uh, we needed to break down the barriers for a woman to give herself to say the power to say yes to come to do this. The, even though it's the worst cancer of the 650 million women in India, less than 3% have ever had a breast cancer exam. So our first mode was the awareness and the education in a nice, uh, happy way. We created our logo to be awareness to action. We would call our, our smile logo to put a happy face. So it's not be afraid to get sick, it's be happy to enjoy health. And the technology itself is an FDA certified digital detection, which is mobile cloud-based digital technology that can show up on site. And with one screening team, we can screen upwards of 80 ladies a day. Uh, next week, we start with Microsoft in India. We'll screen between two and 3,000 ladies over a four-day period. OK. So is this like a mobile mammogram machine? Or? It's not a mammography, okay. uh, but it's a mobile detection machine. Okay. It works on a, a, a vibration, of, but it's detection only. So we're not diagnosing okay. cancer, but we're also, uh, what we are identifying lumps and lesions in breasts. And the average in India, it's one in 20 ladies will have a lump or a lesion. And part of our business is after we detect that, we support the lady on a forward journey to a medical pr pr provider or provide doctors from our panels to do the follow-up procedures that are required. So I know, I mean, in, in women's health here, I mean, there's a lot of like false positives with lumps, right. right? So how are you helping with that, especially with a population that is so uh, so afraid to begin with Gr to get tested? Great question. Uh, first, over the past year, we've screened 10,000 ladies with over 100 major partners. So the volumes are going, growing very fast. We'll do around 3,000 new uh, screenings this uh, month alone. So it's, it is high population, it's high yeah. volume. So the process is such that any lady, uh, uh, let's say there's two things. One, a, a potential for a false positive, but there's two. A detection does not mean cancer, right. but it means something that requires a follow-up. Two of our screening ladies, believe it or not, using the device on themselves, detected a suspicion, suspicious. One was a benign hard spot. The second was a fibroid that did require treatment. So uh, fortunately, they're not cancer, but in, a, in a many cases, it can be a precursor or something that in itself needs to be treated. So we follow through the process of getting the support to those ladies that is required. Okay. And so t tell me, I guess, a little bit about the business model behind this. So, sure. I mean, how are you deploying this at such a broad scale? Uh, great question as well. Uh, we have decided that the, the B2B or the partnership approach is, sure. the, is the way to go. And so as we looked at uh, all of the different models, the first thing we are purposely uh, inefficient now from the standpoint is we're trying to, let's say, win over the hearts and minds of ladies everywhere. And it's not just ladies. We, we open the conversation to families, to men, to make it acceptable to talk about this in India. Uh, but we, we don't say no. We go to houses. We do Tupperware-style breast screening parties. We have set up uh, our, 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 our screening centers in parks. 
at fairs. We'll go anywhere there is a willing lady and a willing audience. But the major deployment model is through major partners, major companies, major organizations. We're working with the FICI organization in India. And we're looking for anyone that wants to support the health and well-being of the ladies. And we found, in fact, uh, Wipro, a major company in India. Yep. Um, Bayer, we screened them three weeks ago. The registration link went viral. And after screening hundreds of ladies three weeks ago in Mumbai, we had 600 requests for screening after the fact. So we're going back to Mumbai with the schedule for 1,000 more ladies. So our deployment model is anyone who says yes, we will be there from one lady to thousands. And how are you integrating with the health system then in India? A great question. As we started as a digital diagnostics company, which we do continue, our first customers and partners were the major hospitals, the major private hospitals changed. As we entered into the breast screening as our core focus of a business, they welcomed us because we now partner with them to do the high volume, yeah. highly efficient and highly personalized outreach for breast screening. And the inpatient services either go back through the hospitals themselves or through our own doctor network. So it's been a, from groups that you would look at possibly as competitors, it's been welcomed as friendly partners. And the fact that only three or less percent of ladies get screened, the market isn't who I take from you. It's reaching the new ladies and bringing them into the health world. Very cool, Carmen. It's yes. a pleasure to talk to you and hear Thank about you. this initiative. I mean, I think women's health is often overlooked, and especially in some of these developing countries, it's nice to see um, some outreach supported by some of these major companies as you're, you're trying to shift the paradigm on that. Absolutely. Uh, it started, we're going fast, and we want to reach every single lady out there. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. me. It's a pleasure to hear from you. It's a pleasure to hear a little bit about your company. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm Jessica Damasa here at Frontiers Health. Thanks so much for joining us.